Good evening. It's an idea that has Western New Yorkers fired up. Lawmakers in Albany, desperate for cash, are considering legislation that would require license plates for every bicycle in your family. Call for Action's Al Vauders is here with the very latest. Al. Well, Joe, we first got wind of this plan by a New York City lawmaker last night, and so far the reaction, both upstate and downstate, has been almost identical. Folks think this bicycle licensing proposal that comes in two parts is a joke. Both measures would require bikes be registered, licensed, and pass inspection. One applies to privately owned two-wheelers. The other bill addressing commercially operated bicycles also requires insurance. So if I'm riding a bike and it's not registered, I can get pulled over. Hey, you, you got registration? That's a possibility. You that need a license? That's not cool. Bikes would be required to have license plates, just like cars, trucks, and motorcycles. $25 for the family version, 50 bucks for the commercial tax. I don't think it's right. I think it's wrong. It's bad enough we got to pay almost $4 for a gallon of gas. That's crazy. I can't call a bicycle. The sponsor of the measure says the $25 license plates would produce nearly $2 million for the state in the first year, and with annual renewal fees, about $300,000 each year after the law becomes effective. What do you think that's all about? Trying to get money any way they can. Yeah. Trying to get money any way yeah. they can. Addiction. And that's Addiction. ridiculous. The author of the bills, Queens Assemblyman Michael Dindecker, says bicycles are considered moving vehicles in New York, and more bike riders are using public thoroughfares, and someone has to pay. I, I think it's a good idea to get uh, bicycles onto roadways uh, as a form of mass transit, but if we do, and we're going to make dedicated lanes, per se, then I think we need to have those bicycles registered with license plates. But County Clerk Kathy Hochul says $25 license plates and inspections could have the opposite effect and discourage people from using bikes. It's a nice family outing, trying to conserve on gas, recreation, exercise, which we're trying to encourage, and then to put yet another roadblock, another cost to be able to do this. It's just, uh, it's so wrong. Assemblyman Dindecker does point out, although it's not readily apparent in the bills, bike riders 18 and under would be exempt. Dindecker also concedes the legislation might be better suited for his home turf in New York City than the rest of the state. Alvarez, News 4 at 530. Thank you, Alan.